Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at another snapshot, it's uh, 14 week 07A. My name is Sparks, um, and I'll be going through some of the things that they've added to this snapshot, some of the experiments I've done so far. They've been concentrating quite a bit on command blocks, uh, this snapshot, but there's a couple of things which have changed as well. So first of all, let's go over here and take a look at these. These are iron trap doors, they've been added to the game. Uh, and as you might expect, unlike a wooden trap door, you can't right click them to activate them. They need to be redstone controlled, just like an iron door versus a wooden door, which is pretty cool. You know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of applications for that. And I, I actually really like the look of them as well. Uh, they're sort of a nice balance. Uh, they look kind of like iron blocks with holes in them. So good job. Uh, you can craft these by taking four iron ingots and placing them in a square. And that gives you one iron trap door. Yeah, as you can see, they haven't finished naming them properly in the inventory yet, but I'm sure they'll get around to it soon. So, uh, they've also added this. Uh, dispensers can now place command blocks. So if you fire a command block out with a dispenser, it actually gets placed down. And if I press this button here, you can see that this command block actually has a command inside it. And this is a very exciting new feature they've added, um, which allows you to give people... Um, or like save the MBT commands of a block. So if I normally middle click with my scroll wheel on this block, I get a command block, right? Minecraft command block, good. Uh, if I control middle click, I get a command block with this little pink plus MBT thing on it. And that means if I place this down, it's got this command in it. Um, so this actually copies the MBT tag of any block you like. So I can actually control middle click on this dispenser and when I place the dispenser down it will have those command blocks inside uh, the same contents as that command block over there which is pretty cool. You know, basically fast copying and pasting uh, and you'll be able to give people uh, in like adventure maps and things specific items containing specific I spe specific items things like that so that's pretty neat um they've also updated the player sensing so uh, a player tester can now uh, have mbt commands so for example this command here is testing for all players with an inventory slot uh, with wool in the second inventory slot and who have their second inventory slot selected. The second is actually this slot here. Uh, this is 0, 1, and 2. So if I right-click this now, the light won't turn on. If I right-click it now, it will, because I have the uh, item slot 2 selected and there's purple wool in it. If I move the purple wool out, it won't work either. So that's pretty neat. You can tell a lot more about players using command blocks now. This one over here is testing for a player in a very, very specific position. Um, so you'll see this light doesn't come on unless I use this teleport command here to put myself exactly in the right spot. I don't know what use this has, but if I even move very slightly to the side, it won't work anymore. Um, over here, we've got one which tells whether you're on the ground. Again, this is just, um, you can go to the Minecraft wiki or for the player um, for the uh, player and chunk format files. I'll put links in the description uh, for all the things that you can tell about players. So I'm in the air now, I'm on the ground now. Oops, uh, on the ground now. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you can also tell if somebody's riding something. So that command block over there, if I get on this pig, the lamp will turn on. So you can do quite a lot with it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I've been trying um, to no avail to detect if somebody has a potion effect. Uh, I really want to get this working, but for some reason this command isn't working. If you know why, let me know, because I'm really curious. So uh, what else do we have? Scoreboards. Uh, can now, if I just set my score to say 5, uh, scoreboards can now perform operations. So you can add, um, subtract, divide, multiply, and I'm not sure what this is because math seems to use it for different things. It can be rounding or mod or something like that, or maybe a percentage. I haven't found out, um, but you can basically do perform calculations now. So this command over here is saying um, players, operation, sparks so set my my score uh, i've got two scoreboards going here there's one on the side here called score and there's one on the tab screen um called other score with a value of 50 so what this is doing is it's setting score it's adding other score to score so my score is currently five and i can add 50 to it so that gives 55 i can do it again so basically you can perform 
calculations you can add up totals of different scoreboards together you can subtract them divide them you know all sorts of cool stuff so that's pretty neat and you can also using Telraw now echo um or print um scoreboard values so 255 if i click that again it'll be 305 um which is a little bit complicated uh, you can copy this command from the video description um, but basically it's this score name Pearl sparks is my name objective score uh, yeah so you can look at that uh, i won't go into that in too much depth and really cool i was talking to torbray about this he seems very excited uh, you can test for somebody's score being within the range of something before you could only test to see whether a scoreboard an entire scoreboard was it within one or another's range but now you can test a specific player for a certain uh, score range so this is saying um, between 5 and 8. So if I set my score to 0, the light won't turn on. If I set it to 5, which is on the edge of that detector, the light will turn on. And if I set it to 10, which is higher than 8, it'll turn off again. So I think that's going to be very handy specific, um, and testing players more carefully. So very good, very good. Uh, over here, this is um, a very cool new addition. So many of you have probably heard of test for block. So you can specify a coordinate and you can go, uh, you can test to see whether it is a certain type of block. So you could check to see whether this is wool and whether it's purple wool or not. Uh, what they've done now, though, is you can check for an area. So over here, we've got two comparative areas. If I click this right now, it's going to compare this one to this one and work out they're not the same. So I can start placing stuff down uh, to match that design over there. So that's like that, and that still won't work uh, until I put this dust down, and then it should be the same, and the light will turn on. And you can't, you can't skimp out. You can't put different things where they shouldn't belong. So that's pretty neat. Um, you can use this to test very specifically for certain structures, uh, maybe in a building competition or something like that would be cool. And finally, uh, in terms of sort of features like this you can uh, I can't really demonstrate this very well because I'm not in multiplayer but you know the name tags over people's heads in multiplayer you can now specify their uh, their name tag visibility so you can go to teams options select the team and then you can do name tag visibility and then there's four options never which means that all name tags are hidden always which means all name tags are shown which is the default hide from other teams means that you can only see your own teammates name tags uh, to kind of extend it over there and hide for own team means you can only see the other players name tags so very interesting i'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that um the only th other thing i can really think of uh, of note is that you can now look at a block if you look at the very bottom of all these coordinates just under the local difficulty if i look at a block it'll tell me the coordinate of the block i'm looking at which is pretty cool i think pretty nice yeah, so uh, quite a few additions, looking very nice. I'm looking forward to playing around with this. I've got a couple of ideas already for interesting projects. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will see you all next time. If you want to see more snapshot videos, let me know by leaving a like. Thank you. Bye-bye.